Real Madrid have been very busy since the conclusion of the 2022-2023 season, as they have been hard at work securing new signings, as well as tying down the futures of current first-team players. Tony Cruz, Luka Modric and Nacho Fernandez are among those to have penned new deals recently, while Vinicius Jr.'s new contract has also been agreed with Real Madrid officials. The next deal that Los Blancos are working on is for Eduardo Camavinga who has already given the green light to the proposal submitted by the club, as per marker. It will see him earn a well-deserved pay rise, while his release clause will be bumped up to 1 billion euros. Camavinga had an excellent second half of last season, providing a string of top-class performances for Real Madrid, despite having been played out of position at left-back for the majority of those matches. However, Camavinga will be back in his natural position of midfielder for next season where he is expected to become even more prominent for Real Madrid. Ferland Mendy's agent, Yvonne Lamy, has been busy all summer. His client's future at Real Madrid appears to be in jeopardy with the club opening the doors for the left-back to leave, and rightfully so considering his injury record and poor form. In a recent interview brought to light by Marca, Lamy spoke openly about Kylian Mbappé's potential transfer to Real Madrid. Giving an agent's perspective, he had only the Frenchman's mother Faiza Lamari to blame. The World Cup winner's mother doubles as his agent, and her lack of understanding of negotiations and the dynamics of the markets is holding Mbappé back, according to Mendy's representative. It's not her job, she doesn't have the ability to act. I wanted to set up a restaurant but I don't know how to cook, so I didn't. For a moment, you just have to be in reality and do what you know how to do. Lumi then lashed out at Lamari over her immature handling of the protégé situation without an official license, and even went on to say that the youngster was unhappy at his current club. To make arrangements for your son and other players, you should have a license. When you don't have the codes, and talk to the leader of a historic club as if you were talking to someone you've known for a long time maybe it doesn't work. You may not know how to handle the situation to get there. He's still in Paris and obviously, he doesn't seem happy to be there. The then agent made a big statement about Mbappe's current situation. Had his future been under the care of a specialist agent, he said, the French international would already be a Real Madrid player for two seasons now. I am convinced that if he, Kylian Mbappe, had had an agent at the time of the negotiations with Real Madrid two years ago, he would have gone to Real Madrid. After a long-drawn transfer saga, Mbappe finally appears set to leave PSG and even made an official statement about his decision to reject a contract renewal. A move to Madrid is on the cards, but it remains to be seen if it materializes this summer or in the next one. The agent, however, was confident that it would not work out this season. Will Mbappe go to Madrid this summer? Absolutely not. I'm close to Real Madrid, they have no money.